Prince Harry may bring his children to the Queen's Jubilee after reportedly being reassured that security can be arranged for the summer. According to sources, the father of two could make a return to the UK with Archie and Lily despite being anxious over the plans that were put in place for his brief visit to see his grandmother last week. Harry and Meghan decided to use their own private bodyguards from the US and were protected by a special escort group, SEG, detail when they were travelling outside. The SEG supports both royals and government ministers by providing them with mobile armed protection, reports Daily Mail. The security detail would be funded by taxpayers after the Home Office said they are unable to consent to private financial arrangements with anybody using Met Police security. Harry is taking legal action against the Home Office after his armed police protection was taken away from him. In a statement to PA News Agency, his legal representative said at the time, the UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. A source told the Daily Mail, Harry was fairly pleased with the way the operation worked, when he and Meghan came to Windsor, and the liaison between his security team and the Met. He believes it means a workable solution can be found, allowing him to come over with his children as early as the Platinum Jubilee. The insider also said that they believe Harry will reverse his legal action. A spokesperson for the pair has previously said they fund a private security team but their own security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed in the UK. Harry's team claim that his private security guards would not be able to provide the same level of police protection offered by the UK state. The Duke appeared on the Today Show in the US earlier this week and shared what his recent visit to see the Queen was like. When asked by host Hoda Kotb if he is going to make the Jubilee celebrations, Harry said, I don't know yet, there's lots of things, security issues and everything else. So this is what I'm trying to do, trying to make it possible that, you know, I can get my kids to meet her. Now, royal fans are convinced that Queen will finally meet Archie and Lilibet after security assurances Prince Harry and Meghan had made a promise to her during their cordial meeting at Windsor earlier this month. Questions have been raised over whether the Queen will ever meet Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's two-month-old daughter Lily, who has never been to the UK or met any family on her father's side. There are reports that the Queen would likely be feeling broken and devastated as she may never see her great-granddaughter Lilibet, who is named after the monarch's family nickname and after Harry's late mother Princess Diana. Lilibet, nicknamed Lily, lives with her parents the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and brother Archie Harrison in Montecito, California. She has never been to the UK or met any family on her father's side, except on video calls. Dylan Howard who is the co-author of Royals at War, the untold story of Harry and Meghan's shocking split with the House of Windsor, thought the Queen is unlikely to ever meet US-born Lily. However, there are speculations and rumours that the Queen is planning to meet Harry and Meghan's children Archie and Lily as she loves them the most.